All right. Ties that bind. In the wake of escalating trouble, Javier leads a group of refugees towards the safety of a nearby town. <laughs> okay, what is that? <laughs> Can I look at the other episodes? Shocking developments drive a wedge between brothers in arms. I love, I love the way they describe things like that. Is this Javi in the thumbnail? And then we have Clementine, yeah. Well, it was fun. It, it, was, it was cool meeting Clem. I don't know. Oh, we never played Michonne. But I've heard that's bad, so I don't really regret it. Um, but Clementine, she's a little bit uh, harder than, than, than in the past. I think that she's just guaranteed that she's going to shoot the guy in the head, no matter what. Because to be fair, both Kenny and Jane are both terrible influences on a kid. Um, but it was interesting to see her just try in the first place. I was like, oh, wow, you just try and shoot and just, just fire a gun? It's a good thing he actually stabbed us because if it hadn't been for that, we would have been a little bit of a harder sale. But, uh, hmm. Yeah. Let's start episode two. It's gonna cut back to the first night, or the, the first sign of the apocalypse, or is this even before that? Please, let me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. I'm a pro at this point. No, no, no. I insist. Grab this sponge and you're gonna be eating it, too. It's not a big deal. I've got it. No, I know you don't mind, but... I, I won't be here for too long. Just... You know, gotta... Get back on my feet a little. You're right. I don't mind. But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to... Just forget it. Sorry. Forget you said what? Thanks. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Oh, well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Wanna take me with you? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh... Hmm? Well, what about David? <laughs> what about David? Kate. I know, I know. I'm just messing around. It's just hard to say no to a fresh start. Always wanted to go to Norway. See the northern lights. Uh, you'll be jet-setting and I'll still just be here. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, wow, shit. great. Shit. Awesome. Shit. Well, that was David's army glass. He's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. He should be more worried about you slicing your hand open. He should be. There you go. See, much better. This lady is so quick to be like, ooh, yeah, maybe we should run off together. Guys. Pull away. You're, you're gonna be okay. Hello. My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not gonna give me another well, one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. You're both overreacting, okay? It's not that big a crisis. Stay out of this, Javi. We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. I don't need to understand that you're you being an asshole. You like I do. Yeah, you know what? Always judging everyone. Tell him off. You know what, David? Time for you to open your eyes. 
Kate's gonna leave your ass. What? She told Hobby. me so. You what? said that? Jesus fucking Christ, no. We were talking about traveling and I just... No, I definitely That's not didn't a, say that. All at all. What a, Three days. Wow, tell, tell. Off my couch and out the door. Wow, tell, tell. We clear? Fine. Wow, tell, tell. Wow, Hobby, tell, tell. that is my husband. We are married. No. In case you shut, forgot. Shut, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Tell, tell. I had two choices. Tell him off and let it go. And tell him off? Fucking made me go, by the way, your wife wants to leave you. That's not at all conveyed at any fucking point. I just wanted to tell him that he was being a fucking asshole about a goddamn piece of glass while his wife's hand is bleeding. That's not at all. I, I denied her advances. <laughs> by default, by default, I fucking just... <laughs> I should have just been like, I'm not trying to tell him anything. I don't give a shit about her. She can be a little fucking honey pie little bitch and try and, and be all like, oh, I should get laid. Oh, kiss me, Javi. Oh, Javi, I just want a fresh start somewhere. Javi, my husband, just so bad. I didn't fucking, boom, fucking stupid. Really, honestly, one of the stupidest fucking things I have seen in The Walking Dead from Telltale. Serious, I've seen a lot of stupid shit. Season two had a lot of it. And that? That's for life. Fuck you. Fuck you. We're time traveling. We're time traveling. You know what? That's for life. We're time traveling because I'm not about to have this. She remembers this shit. Godly. Unfucking believable. Just, just start a new one. Just start a new one. How do I. More options, restart episode two, because fuck that noise. I would have been fine if that was like a third option. Tell him his wife wants to leave him, and then I just choose the other option that doesn't have that. Guys. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna hold on. I wanna see what happens. Hit me. What happens if I stay here? What kind of choices do oh. I get? David noticed that. Yeah, well, notice your own death in the future. My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not going to give me another well, one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. You know what? I'm just going to stay silent. It was an accident. It was important to me. Are you really going to do this in front of your brother? Is that what this is about? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. <laughs> I didn't even say you anything don't know this him time. Like I do. Always judging everyone, except himself. You know what? You're right. It's none of my business. No, it's not. I'm sorry about the glass. Really. It's fine. It was an accident. <laughs> don't worry, I can handle him. <laughs> what the fuck? He's just in a mood. Trust me, it won't last. Let it go, and he just goes, "It was an accident." All right. <laughs> Tell him off. Your wife's leaving you. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, oh, hey, meanwhile, back in the present. Oh, yeah, we got blown, blown up by a grenade. A little bit. <laughs> oh, hey, how you doing? Um, thanks, Clem. Hey, hey, take it easy. What happened? They got away. Man, that sucks. Oh god. Mariana. At least it was instant, man. There was no suffering. I already dug a grave for her. Oh wow, Clem, you are. A fucking pro at this kind of stuff. Thank you. Well, there we go. Probably one of the nicer characters of season three. 
dead immediately. We'll never forget you. You were a good sister to game. And... And like a daughter to me. Javi... Thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. I couldn't leave you alone. That's because you're a good man. I'm not good enough to save her. She got headshotted, man. People time though. That counts for something. You really can't blame yourself for that. Uh, leave cassette player. Yeah, sure. Sentimental. Hey, hang on a sec. Even she though carried this around for years. Probably could have just given that to someone else. But it's got fresh batteries. Anyways, uh sentimental, yes. Mm-hmm. We we care. I I care. Sorry, Murray. I'm just a little bit just a bit angry about stuff in the past. We literally just dreamed that up right now. What a what a thing to dream up! After getting knocked out by a flashbang. I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. But you did, technically. I mean... We just never got it to you, you in time. Just so much more life. You should have been the one burying me. Some someday, someday far away. Wow, that was one shovel, and the rest of it filled up. You did everything you possibly. Maybe we don't use a gun on one zombie. I mean. Oh, it's the guy shot. He's trying to communicate. Just fucking kick him in the face. Why are we wasting bullets? Ugh. The other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem? I've run into these guys before. Who are they? Please? They call themselves the New Frontier. Oh, great. They that means that they're antagonists. People. Now they're something else. This brand they have, it's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while, not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. Bad how? I got out. That's all that matters. They left one of their cars behind. That's something at least. Good. Just like you always wanted. Well, now, calm down. Why are we starting that? I didn't say that. I can take you back to Prescott, make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. We got so, so suddenly mean. Like, we didn't have any decent options there besides stay with family. It suits you to be a loner, Clementine. Uh. Also, when did she learn to drive? I mean, obviously she had time, but I want to see when that happened. Also, how much stuff did we leave behind? 
Yeah, we got the car, but what about the supplies? We could have had more pudding. That would have made the people of Prescott happy. You're back. How's Kate? Uh, she... Just came out of surgery. Eleanor's still with her. You'd best get over to the infirmary. He made it back. She asked for you. You know. Please, please just tell me how she's doing. Well, she came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Yay! Game, he seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much, he... got overwhelmed. So when's she gonna be up on her feet again? She's stable. For now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. I... I wish I could do more. Thanks for trying. And for not sugarcoating it. Wish I had something better to tell you. But I'm sorry, Javi. It's just a I'm sign of the times, up. you know? You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. <laughs> hey, Javi. Er, hey, Gabe. Your sister's completely dead. The, the chick that you've been, like, arguing with every day, she's probably gonna die, too. It's just gonna be me, you, and Clem, probably. And then Clem's gonna get herself or not Clem, Gabe's probably gonna get himself killed within, like, the next two episodes. Or who knows? Maybe he'll go through character development, and we can build a bond with him. And then maybe he'll get in trouble, but actually get out of it and not die. Wouldn't that be great? I know Trip drove like hell to get Kate back here. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected. Yeah, considering. You should have come back with us. Your family, they needed you. Clementine needed my help back there. She could take care of herself. Your family, they were the ones who needed help. What? What the fuck would I do in the, the car? The situation. Just know I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott. If that's what you want. Nobody's gonna force you, but we'd be glad to have you all here. Sticking around sounds good to me. Thanks for the offer. You're very welcome. It does sound like a nice place, but we're probably gonna end up leaving. So, what the fuck? Like, it's one thing for the big- like, episode one, okay? Yeah, we didn't show up in time for our, our father's death. Okay, yeah, that's- that's a fair enough, yes, you're allowed to yell at me kind of situation. But, this one? Sure, she might have fucking died there, but somebody else could have died too. Take a free sample. Well, they had it there, and I need a water bottle anyways. Why are we looking around all shifty-like? It fucking said, take a free sample. Fuck them, if they w didn't want that, they should have taken the sign down. Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. Lifetime that sounds ago. terrible. <laughs> I don't think I ever want to get in a tiny plane like this. No matter how stable, no. Not, not for me. Hmm. Doesn't look super sturdy. I mean, it looks like it works. <laughs> and then keep adding on to it. Oh, hey, Conrad. Is he gonna still be mad at me about the bar? Hey, have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Headed off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice. One parent to another. He's had a really bad day. Can't let him go off by himself. Not right now. Sorry to hear that. 
That blood. I take it that wasn't his? His stepmom's. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen one in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I, uh, appreciate that. Thanks, Conrad. Boy, stomped off towards the front gate. I like how he's assuming that Gabe is my son. <laughs> From one parent to another, uh, I have no kids. You see, I just had a rough life, and I just happened to be in the right place at the right time to end up really adopting them in the zombie apocalypse. Gabe? Okay, now what are you gonna do when you're covered in blood and you smell Come like on. hell? Look at me. I want to go back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. You stayed long enough to do some good. And because of that, I'm proud of you. You were there for her as much as you could be. That doesn't count. I'm done uh. feeling this way. Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man. Just like my dad was. <laughs> he knew how men were supposed to act. You're already a man, Gabe. I'm not. But at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. Great, I'm gonna he's gonna do, do something. something dumb. I have to. Listen, Gabe. Listen, Gabe, we should probably get back inside. Shit. Get inside! Now! I was hoping he'd be like, I'm done being... Done being a little boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stand up for myself and better myself as a we person. Might have to leave. Make sure Kate's ready. You can count on me. Instead, he's like, I wanna be like my dad. <laughs> the grade A asshole. I thought you kicked her ass out. Jesus. Knock knock! Anyone home? We could shoot you right now. Shit. He was one of the men at the junkyard. These are those freaks that brand themselves. I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. He shot Mariana. Says you fired on. They shot first. They killed my niece. Shot a woman in cold blood. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? Zero? Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said, shit. I mean, until you me. start shooting at me, then, well, then they the killed fuck one. What do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Men have gotta have laws, otherwise we're no better than the animals. Let's just talk this through. It ain't so simple. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. I Can think I shoot they need first? a little incentive. Oh god damn it, come Brazil. on! You hurt her, I'll kill you! Whoa! You didn't tell me you had a hostage. It's gonna be okay, baby. I love you, baby. Alright, baby. Just just give them what they want. There's no reason this has to get ugly. She's innocent in this. You don't have to drag her into our fight. I don't have to, but I kinda want to. Please let me shoot him. Oh, shoot the shoot, shoot the shit out of him! Oh my god! Get your ass down oh here, god. or I Please. cut off the rest of them. What the hell are you doing? 
Javi, please, man. Just, just go with him. You got to. You kill Francine. Nobody's giving in to them. We should start shooting. I agree, Clem. Don't wait. He'll kill Francine. Fuck you. I'm opening fire. Why him? Shoot the one who's an asshole. Francine. The leader. The fucking leader. I uh, j -j -j uh, got him. I guess. Oh, I should probably get in cover. Oops. <laughs> oh no! I guess he's dead! <laughs> I pressed- I pressed A because the arrow was placing leftish, but it meant me to go down. That's funny. Oh. Uh... Mercy! You know the worst part about this? I guarantee you, she probably fucking gets killed anyways, no matter what. Cause this is just like some kind of situation for it. Let me do some shooting rather than just like one at a pop. Just fucking, I want to target. What happened to the, did you see the guy on the right teleport away? Wow, that's not locked? Oh my god, I hate The Walking Dead so much. What am I doing oh, here? Oh, what the fuck? We don't have the go-ahead! No, fuck you! Fuck the go-ahead! Ram the fucking gate! Dude, <laughs> Dude with glasses like, yeah, alright, I guess I'll do that. Jesus Christ! And then the highly trained humans inside the camp just shot all the zombies and didn't care. <laughs> oh, hey there, friend. Uh, looks like you don't have a mouth to fully bite me on with. That's good. The three zombies. <laughs> I'm glad we helped one person out at least. Oh, wow, that was so quick. Get the knife back. Thank you. Bobby, Gabe. Shit, where the fuck did that come from? What is up with these animations? They're so janky. Let's just use this. There's enough room for her. I like how he aimed at his arm and he got a headshot, because it doesn't matter at all as long as you click on the Hobby! Oh hey! Oh thank you! Trip? Head east. We'll catch up. Okay. The Walking Dead, a new frontier! Everyone got forced away from the safe town because of another group of assholes! bad. I, I mean, I get that not every single person is going to be like a cold-hearted super killer trained by the apocalypse, but 
They, like, hardly fought at all. They just kind of, like, stood there and then got eaten or us? shot. Just the other car. Looks like we're okay. Ay, ay, ay. Eleanor, thank God. I can't believe it. All of our friends, all those people. I'm gonna get blamed for it. Oh, Conrad. We'll avenge her. I promise you that. Oh, so is we now? You're the one who opened fire. She's dead because of you. They brought a fucking Conrad. zombie car. Easy, buddy. This wasn't his fault. Bullshit. Francine, Prescott, all because this washed up cheat walked through our gates. I should have known it the second I looked at you. We, we just lost someone too. So, say what you have to say. What? That's supposed to make me feel better? Calm down, Conrad, please. All I know is, if it wasn't for him, Back the fuck off, now! Oh my god. Just back away! Take it easy, son. Gabe, no, this isn't necessary. What are you talking about? Y yes, it is! I told you! I get that you're trying to help, but this isn't how you do it. Just do it already. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> yeah. Put it down, Gabe. You kill an unarmed man, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You hear me? Don't touch my uncle again. Fuck me. Gabe! Let him go. I don't Adjust even care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We have to go back. We have to bury her. I wish we could, but Prescott's overrun. We can't go back. Well, we're not safe here either. What about Richmond? I've heard there's a community there. If it's true, they'll have food, walls, maybe even a hospital. All I want is to find the motherfuckers who did this. They took my home. They took my... God damn it! The one thing we all need is a place to call home. Maybe Richmond can be that place. I want to do both. Richmond. Huh. It's I want to kill them and also listen to Clem. <sighs> yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. That's wow, a Conrad, spirit, man. Yeah, Conrad fucking recovered. Huh. Maybe they'll hit it off. God, I hope not. Sounds like a recipe for trouble. I remember being that age. You need someone else to talk to that understands what you're going through. Come on, guys. No. No. We got a long no. Ahead of you us. stay the fuck away from Clementine. As a person who is both a surrogate father and her in season one and two, respectively, fuck that shit. You're not good enough, Gabe. You're not good enough. And you, I don't like you what at all. What can I do for you here? I feel like I'm burning up, <laughs> and I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> You're also dying of internal blood. Aha! I wish I could just like not give her this water. <laughs> Thirsty isn't good. How's her forehead feel? Ah. Uh. Hot. Hot. Fuck. It's probably sepsis. Sooner we get to Richmond, the better. <sighs> oh, god damn it. Oh, it really hurts. <laughs> hey, you're gonna be fine, Kate. I, I'm just trying to be realistic. Yeah, well, I'm trying to be optimistic. We do. And 
this is gonna sound fucked up, but maybe this is my chance for Christ. I don't know. A graceful exit. Not many people get those. I'd be one of the lucky ones. You don't get to just bow out. Just think about all that's happened. Mariana died. I couldn't stop it. Hey, that was an ambush. It was an effective Indeed. one, too. I heard what happened when we stopped. Isn't it obvious? Look, he might be turning into David. He might be turning into you. He's not that sweet little boy I first met. He just needs guidance. And a lot of it. And I hope so. All I care about is him becoming who he needs to be. And it's gonna be on you to make sure that happens. Uh, I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna say you're not going anywhere. I'm not buying this I'm dying shit. It's on both of us. You're buying it whether you want to or not. Oh! Hey, careful. Sorry. You should get some rest, Kate. We all should. Really. Um, this pleasure. I don't know if that's a great idea. I mean... Ugh. Parents just love pretending the rest of us can't hear. I wouldn't know. Ooh. Damn. Clem. Jesus. You can't say I wouldn't know when you, you 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 had your parents until you were like what seven eight? You had a little bit of that. Come on, but that was damn. Wow, <laughs> I wouldn't. Know. Holy Jesus Christ, Clem.